All right, so we just got this brand new Ko'olau CE. This is a custom electric tenor. And um, we get maybe just a couple of these throughout the year, but this is probably one of the most nicest ones um, I've seen, um, just period. Um, this one features extremely curly quilted maple for the top. And you don't really get to see this type of wood used for an electric style um, ukulele and um, Ko'olau and um, Noah and Ryan did an amazing job with putting this together um, all of the playability that you um, would expect from a Ko'olau and more having an electric ukulele like this allows you to dial in play around with your sound a bit more add some effects have more control so if you want to sound a certain way when you're plugged into an amp live on stage playing a song whether it's solo or backing up uh, someone in a band um, this is a great ukulele to um, really add more flair add more expression and you don't have to worry about all of the feedback while keeping it still a fantastic ukulele this as you can see as we turn it to the back this is a black stain that they did on the the finish, if I'm not mistaken, um, this is going to be mahogany for the, the back. And let me take off this part. There we go. So as you can see, um, the, the back of this um, custom electric tenor is dyed black. And we have a compartment here. So for those of you who are who are familiar with the Pono electrics. Pono um, electrics are usually passive, but we're dealing with a Ko'olau. So this is all built in-house here in Hawaii. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this uses a nine volt type of battery to power this active system. We have Goto um, tuners. These are super smooth. Um, they look like normal tuners, but they outperform them um, times 10. Um, they hold the tune very well really nice i like the gold how it it contrasts the the black stain for the back and sides and it blends in well with the quilted maple looks like we have um ebony bridge and fingerboard face plates ko'olau logo inlaid in mother of pearl so let's hear a little bit more from this beautiful ukulele
Man, what a tone. The probably uh, my most favorite thing about the, the C's is how clear of a tone you get. And it's not the kind of tone that you expect the first time you see it. Everybody thinks, oh, what is this like an electric ukulele? And they expect it to sound like an electric guitar. But then when you plug it in, you just get pure ukulele. That's all it is. Pure ukulele, signal, and with an EQ, you don't have to worry about uh, feedback. And sometimes you can just plug it straight in. No EQ and it, it sounds good. Um, what helps deliver that really good sound is the pickup. And there's an active pickup in here developed uh, through LR Bags. LR Bags has kind of like this special pickup. Um, they have a partnership with Ko'olau, developed specifically just for this instrument. So um, it's like the luxury version of the Pono TEs. This is like the Lexus and the, you know, the Toyota are the regular T's. Anyways, the pickup delivers a very natural sound too. That is, uh, you know, like I was saying, something you wouldn't expect from, you know, just looking at it. So um, inside here, what helps acoustically too is there is a chamber that's, that's routed out and that does help acoustically. Um, it does translate through the pickup and through um, whatever kind of sound you're running very turn, well. Turn so. off the volume and for, yeah, yeah, so. So it gives you a lot of volume so you can practice late at night or just, you know, if you don't, if you don't really want to bother anybody with, with noise, you can... Just play this acoustically and you still get, you get a lot. Fantastic sound, gorgeous instrument. Um, definitely, it's not only for the studio musician or performing um, musician. It's this is like an everybody's ukulele. You know, it's uh, kind of pricey, but it's worth every single dollar. I don't, I'm going to say that. I I am going to get one of these myself. In fact, it's already downstairs. But anyways. The Ko'olau CE, 